back to Time to Go. Today we are going to be discussing a really cool watch I purchased about a month or so ago and that is the Certina DS Action Diver. Now before we spin the camera around to take a closer look at the watch, I just wanted to point out this watch is a certified ISO 6425 Divers watch and I uh, was going to do a little discussion on the tests and the rigors they put the watch through. I had filmed it and when I watched it back it was kind of a little bit bland. I came across as a bit of a science teacher and I just uh, thought instead of putting that in the video what I'll do is I'll share a link below and you guys can check that out if you're interested. So let's spin the camera around and take a closer look at the Certina DS Action Diver. All right, here we go. So uh, before we get into the review, let's just take a quick look at some of the basic specs of the watch. First of all, we are looking at a case width of 43 millimeters. Lug to lug is 49 millimeters. We have a thickness of 12 millimeters and the lug width is 21 millimeters, which unfortunately limits some of your options for straps in the aftermarket. Um, now the watch is rated for 200 meter water resistance and again it is certified ISO 6425 as you can see written here on the dial. Now what originally drew my attention to this watch and it's probably drawing your attention right now is the awesome blue sunburst dial as well as the sunburst bezel. I just think it looks gorgeous and um, believe it or not in the sunlight it's a little bit more intense than it is right now but in the dark it does uh, tone down a little bit so this watch is pretty versatile. Uh, I uh, recently had it on vacation and would be wearing it snorkeling or at the beach but it was also uh, worn a few times at dinner and it almost has a dark navy blue look in low light. Now normally with a dial with so much writing on it it says uh, Certina 1888 which is the year Cer uh, Certina was founded DS Action Automatic Divers 200 meter ISO 6425 uh, typically that would seem a little busy to me and I don't know why but it just doesn't feel that way on this dial uh, for me anyway. Now the other thing with the dial that's really nice is the loom. The hour markers which are framed in stainless steel are uh, heavily applied with uh, Luma Bright and they are extremely bright at night time. Uh, they do last pretty much all night long obviously they fade quite a bit. Also on the bezel from here to the 20 minute mark there is loom as well. At the end of the video I'm going to share a loom shot with you guys so you can check it out. I will say the loom on the bezel is not quite as bright as the hour markers and it does fade to quite a bit quicker. Also I forgot to mention the, uh, the loom on the hands is very bright as well. The bezel is a 60 click bezel. It's very easy to turn, a little easier without gloves on. Uh, it has kind of a cog shaped grip to it and uh, again it's a pleasure to operate. There's been no issues with that whatsoever and it lines up nicely with all of the indices. Now the one question mark I have with the Certina bezel is I'm not sure what the bezel insert is made from. I think it's an aluminum insert but there's some sort of an epoxy coating over top of the insert. Uh, seems very durable but uh, if anybody has some clarification on that if you could leave a comment in the comment section below that would be great. The Certina is housing a ETA 2824-2 movement. That is a hand winding and as you can see hackable movement. Uh, the crown winds very nicely and it's been keeping pretty good time at about plus 6 to plus 10 seconds per day. The other thing I really love about this watch is the case design. I just love the sharp angular lines to the case. The crown guard just juts out so harshly it just looks awesome to me. Now as far as the crown goes, I'm not sure if you can make it out, it is polished and it is signed DS. 
Now DS stands for dual security and that is a Certina technology that they've had around since I believe the late 50s, early 60s. This technology is for both shock resistance and water resistance and according to their website it consists of a sapphire crystal, uh, o-rings on the winding stem and crown which apparently makes the watch water resistant even with the crown open. There is a special seal on the case back as well as a reinforced case back. But what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the Certina site where they describe this technology and you can check it out for yourself. So before we move on to the Certina bracelet, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, case back on this watch. Uh, you'll see it has the etched turtle and this is actually supposed to represent the DS, the double security for both shock resistant and water resistance. It's not a very deep etching but it's a nice little touch. The bracelet just like the case has a very high quality brushing on the stainless steel. I think it looks great. Um, the one thing that kind of bugged me at first was I found the links to be a little long. Um, that has changed and it's kind of grown on me and I'm starting to really like the look of that. Now the clasp is a fold over clasp. It is made of machined stainless steel, not stamped although there is a divers extension that is uh, stamped stainless but still nice to have. Um, I would have kind of liked to have seen a push button deployment on the clasp as it is a tool watch but I'm pretty happy with it overall. So let's uh, try this on and uh, give you guys a quick wrist shot so you can see what the Certina looks like on. Okay here we go so if uh, anybody out there is considering purchasing the Certina DS Action Diver, I don't think you'll be disappointed for this price point. The dial and the sunburst bezel is just gorgeous and I really love the look of it. Once you get past that, the build quality is done just fantastic. I love the brushing. Um, the one thing I think I might change on this watch, if I could though, would be the location of the date window. I would have liked to have seen it either at the 12, 6 or even the 3 o'clock position just to give the watch a little more symmetry, but I've sort of moved past that and uh, just really loving this watch. So let's uh, spin the camera back around here and uh, wrap this up. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's video on the Certina DS Action Diver. I absolutely love this watch and again, if anybody is considering purchasing one, I would highly recommend it. Um, now just a quick update on the channel. If you have watched my State of the Watch Collection video that I released a few weeks ago, I'll leave a link up here now. Um, the Speedmaster that I purchased is now in for service. Once I receive that back, I'm going to make a video of the process of the servicing with the Omega dealer. And uh, as well, I have a new watch inbound which should be arriving any day now. So you can expect some new videos coming out very soon. So if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.